So I'm here today in St. Ambrose Church in Charlton, just on Princess Parkway, because today is the feast of St. Ambrose Barlow, the patron saint of the deanery in which I live and serve down here in South Manchester, takes in Trafford, a bit of Tameside and Stockport as well. And it's his feast day today. The local lad, such an important saint for us, born in Barlow Hall, just down the road, which is now part of Charlton Golf Club. And he went off uh, to be a priest by training first in what is now France and then Spain, and then came back to serve people here in Lancashire, over Astley towards Alton and also back here near where he was born. And of course, he lived in a turbulent time because it was uh, when it was very difficult for people to be Catholic, they'd be prosecuted. His own family had their property confiscated and he ended up having to say mass in secret for the people, keeping that faith going. But one of the great things that St. Ambrose Barlow really defended which appeals to us in our modern day context is that right to religious freedom. For Catholics to be able to worship the, the way that they want to, and then other religions and other faiths can then benefit from that. St. Ambrose Barlow, a great patron for me anyway, for religious freedom and one of my favorite saints because he's so local, because we can feel his presence more, he's tangible, He's relatable to us. And speaking of that, just here on the altar, I have the jawbone, part of the jawbone of St. Ambrose too. So I'll just take this out. So you can see this a little better. This is part of St. Ambrose's jawbone. The uh, rest of the skull is at Wardley Hall, which is the bishop's house. The rest of it's there, so if you ever want to take a pilgrimage to uh, Wardley Hall to see St. Ambrose, then that would be a great day. And then you could come here to St. Ambrose and see the jawbone. And there's one other interesting part of this church which relates to St. Ambrose. And I'll take you over there now. So you can see a bit of St. Ambrose Church here. And it's this bell. This is the Barlow Bell. This bell was taken originally from Barlow Hall, where St. Ambrose, as I said, was born. And as it says on this plaque here. The ancient bell, which announced the Holy Mass at Barlow Hall long before the penal days, announces that holy sacrifice again, where the martyred son of the Barlow family is venerated. This was presented to the Bishop of Salford by Chawton Golf Club. So a little bit of history here in our church. And it's happy feast day then from me to you for St. Ambrose Barlow feast day. And of course, we have our two wonderful schools here too uh, that have a connection to St. Ambrose Barlow. We have the primary school just next door to this church. And then, of course, our great high school down at the other end of Didsbury, the Barlow High School. God bless and thank you for watching.